Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to edit a photo really quickly in iPhoto. Now I'm using iPhoto 8, but you can do this in pretty much any of the versions, or recent versions. So I'm going to be working on this cute little koala that I took recently at Sydney's Wildlife World in Darling Harbour. Um, okay, so the first thing I'll do is I'll go Command D to duplicate the photo. That way we can compare later. And then um, the first thing I'll do is I'll click Edit, then I'll straighten it. This pops up. Just tilt it over a bit like that. And then the second thing I'll do is I'll crop it. So I'm going to remove that distracting tree trunk on the left. Concentrate more on the koala itself. Okay, um, so it's already looking much better, but we can improve on it a bit more. Now bring up the adjust palette and I'll knock out the background by using the levels tool so this will make it entirely black now the levels tool is exactly the same as the one in Photoshop it just doesn't have all the other fancy stuff um, okay so I'll also brighten it a little bit using the exposures tool brings that up a bit and I think it looks a tad yellow so I'll bring it down to the cooler end of the color temperature scale and I think that should do it and just so you can see I'll also bring up the effects palette and you know you can spend all day playing around with all the fancy features but I'll just leave it on the original for now so then I'll click done okay now if I go click on that click command select the original one like that and then click edit I can see them both together so you can see what a difference that's made and it's only taken me a few seconds now I've got 75 photos in this folder so if that photo took me one minute to edit it's not going to take me 75 minutes to edit all these photos because in iPhoto 8 there's a nifty new feature that um, it's actually in Adobe Lightroom as well where you can after I've done all the settings and changed all the settings I can just go copy and if I go to this photo here, which is taken in similar lighting conditions, I can just go paste. And so all the all the settings from that photo have now come to this photo. Now obviously it doesn't look that great. I still have to tweak it a bit because the photo is not identical. But, um, you know, if you had a lot of photos of your kids or whatever, people photos that are taking very similar lighting conditions in the sun or in the shade and you don't want to do all this for every single photo you can just use a copy and paste and that's really really nifty um, and when I visited the Apple store in Sydney when they first opened someone actually showed me that and I thought oh that's pretty cool so that's you know photo 8 is not in earlier versions so anyway I hope you've learned something new and um, and I'll be speaking to you soon okay bye